All right, you guys get to come with us today. We got two of the three boys with us today. So we're gonna go get the, let's see, go get this guy dropped off. I don't know if I got showed you this, uh, the tailgate fell off, so it's over there. So we're gonna be ordering a new one of them and a, probably a roll pan. So we'll see if we go with a roll pan or a bumper. You guys let me know down in the comments, you decide. I'm gonna probably go with the roll pan though. Good working fuel pressure, all that's working. Oil pressure's great. Everything's doing pretty good. Except for the fact that we're bringing a 32 foot trailer through town. Some of these turns get pretty tight, but I see 53 footers get through there. I know we can do it. And people are just obnoxious. I'm trying to make a turn from the left lane going right, and it's literally this right lane, here's a curb, so I have to swing all the way out. And this dude got mad at me for he wanted to swing around me and I was like, oh no. So I cut into his lane and he beeped at me and I, I started going off on this dude. He wasn't happy with me, but we got it. So we're backing up the trailer now into the new spot. Let's get out and observe. No, not yet. Hold on a second. All right. So I got, not too bad. Spot should do it just fine. How, how center are we? Centers to like right here. I mean, as long as we're close, I guess. We should be all right. So I'm gonna back this up a little bit more. I'll have Liam guide me through. And one hook. And I wanna get a lock for it. I definitely, definitely need to do that. All right, let's see how trustworthy of a spotter he was. You didn't let me hit it, did you? Oh, cool. We got like a good foot. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Good shit. All right. I'm going to hook this thing. Then we're going to go throw the tailgate in the storage unit and a bunch of things. Side note, this thing is thick. That tailgate was pretty shot uh, after falling off and everything. I knew that I was gonna get a new one eventually, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's just a beater after all. There's the trailer there. So she's gonna be sitting for a while. I am gonna get a lock for it. They do have pretty decent security and cameras here, so I shouldn't have to worry about anybody trying to steal it, but I'd be pretty pissed if they did, but I do need to go get a lock. So I also, I wanna put bolts in that so that because I've noticed since I'm pulling on it with the strap backwards, it kind of sits like at an angle like this. I don't really like that. I want that to sit straight as possible. So we'll deal with that probably sometime today. And the caliper over here, this caliper has been hanging up for a while. So I'm gonna replace that. It was like 64 bucks. Police out here thinking they slick with their bumper pull campers. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. We're going down High Street. Why not? See if we get pulled over today. We're having we're having a good time. Kids are kids are loving it. You having a good time, Liam? Huh? Yeah. yeah he's having a good time. So. All right. We got the trailer dropped. So I pulled the hitch out. Pulled the fire extinguisher out. We're gonna mess with the alignment because I noticed the tank actually shifted a little bit. So I do have bolts, uh, all four bolts to put in this. So. Doesn't look like my welds are leaking, so that's a good sign. Because it was leaking, you guys can see the weld all along here. So, I'm gonna move that. This thing's about full. Move this thing over, and... Oh, well, there's my 10 mil. I was looking for that. Let's get this thing cleaned out. Lockout kit. All right, as you guys can see, we got four bolt holes in it. We got every one of them. So now we're gonna put this back, see how I wanna do it. Uh, like I said, I didn't like that this was like this. So now it's actually straight and looks like it belongs there for the most part. So it actually sits flat, all right? You can see how dirty my bottom of my shoes are from stepping on all this, so yeah. All right, well, now we, uh, now we decide to start throwing this back on it. So everything's straight, 
Uh, I think there's a little bit more room on that side, which is fine with me, like maybe like a half an inch more. You guys can see, here's the difference on that side. We'll walk over to this side. It's like, I don't know, there, there might be about an inch of difference, which isn't all that big a deal, but I can actually reach my hand down in here, which is the most important part. So I can flip this lever. So that's what matters. All right, it's all done. I don't know how I want to mount this at some point, but for now, this is just holding on to this. This is bolted down. So we shall see at some point if that becomes a problem. Here, take those with these two. So, there it is, it's done. Need to figure out if I want to do a bumper or a roll pan though. A roll pan seems to be a pain with trying to find a hitch, but here, take these in too. So, seems to be a pain trying to find a hitch that'll actually work with it without custom building one, so I don't know yet. Um, might just order a new bumper. I'll let you guys make that decision. Roll pan with a hitch underneath or bumper. Let me know. All right, so for the past like hour or so, I have been going through the truck and cleaning everything basically out that, you know, doesn't need to be in here. Like went through the bottom of the seats and all of this, you know, I'm gonna start messing around with all this stuff here a little bit, but basically cleaning it up. I wanna get a couple more of these, the magnet bases so that I can, you know, mount like my GoPro charger and just a, just a couple other things, right? So, going through doing that, got rid of a bunch of paperwork in here. I need to go, this is for the GoPro stuff, but uh, now I want to go through the glove box and go through that. But basically just getting it cleaned up. Uh, going through there, we got two crates. I want to get, when we get the tailgate, it looks like these will fit perfectly right here. And it looks like I should be able to fit five of those. Or we could put them here. Might just do four and put them there and then leave this space open. I don't know. Decision, decisions. You guys give me give me your uh give me your take on it. But I'm gonna go through the glove box now. Got a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff in here going on. So I do wanna get uh just because I know it'll bother some people and it sounds cool. I wanna put the snorkel back on. I wanna get this whole thing like coated black and actually looking good grind the welds down make it pretty basically um so i need to go through here get rid of a bunch of the stuff in the actual glove box itself like pens we have cage bolts uh, just just a bunch of stuff so nothing that we actually really need in here for ammunition so hook for the chains and oh looking for these bunch of I think those are razor blades or plastic razor blades I don't know one's one's plastic one's regular easy pass glue seven way to no six way charger so yeah just uh just get this all cleaned out and whatnot go from there and we'll have to go through all this stuff yeah, it's uh, coming together. All right, so I wanna go through and give you guys a little bit of updates right now while I'm doing the, uh, the stuff over here. So it looks like uh, a bunch of you guys are viewing, we're getting like 200,000 views per month, which is absolutely awesome, right? All right, so this is where some of the updates are gonna come in. We finally got her to actually quit uh, her job, so she'll be done in like two weeks. I've been working for this for a very long time, trying to get her to be a stay-at-home mom since we have three kids, right? So. In doing so, I'm already paying the majority of the bills, so I'm gonna be taking over basically every single one of them. So I'm gonna need a little bit of patience with you guys on putting the money into the truck that we were gonna do. So we're gonna do paint, we're doing mega cab flares, doing all the body work, doing all the fun stuff, right? Basically make it look as nice as possible. We're not getting a new rig, right? So I basically will be covering 100% of the bills instead of just 90% of them, okay? Paying for everything down to it. So believe it or not, our monthly expenses here without groceries i would say without groceries is under two grand a month okay youtube and i don't i don't talk about the ad revenue too much on here but has i think last month's check was 12 30 something like that and then this month uh coming in 
should be right around $1,500. So that's insane considering the fact that my that's 75% of the bills covered right there if $1,500 comes in. So I kinda, I really wanna keep doing this and making more content for you guys. Uh, I need you guys to do me a favor down in the comments or even you can send me a message. All the links are in the description. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about next because I'm kinda like at the point where, okay, if this can take care of the home bills, I can let the transport side keep taking care of itself. So keep, you know, running. We're gonna keep getting more and more efficient, saving money on fuel, saving money where we can keeping the cost per mile down as low as possible, as well as making as much as possible with the new trailer. Um, so we're gonna be going different routes. Um, you guys feel free to leave advice down below. Now mind you, keep in mind that I'm nowhere near new to this industry. Uh, I've done it for, I did it a whole year before. I had my own authority. So it's like flat bedding and doing any of that. I'm not new to it. I had a towing company. I had, um, you name it, I've been hauling shit for years now, okay? So and definitely not new to it, just new to doing it as commercially um, as possible, you know. With that being said, keep viewing, keep doing what you're doing. Um, so that's basically updates. I'm gonna be covering 100% of everything. So the more that I can keep making with YouTube, the more I can keep putting out content for you guys, the better everything is. So I'll keep making content, keep working, and keep going from there. So I told you guys, I want but basically with me saying that, I want as much, uh, just, just keep some patience with, uh, we are gonna be throwing some money at the truck. Uh, it's tax season now, I gotta pay in about 6,000, 6,000 bucks. Uh, so we're we're working around that, trying to get that covered as well. Just uh, keep doing what you guys are doing, sharing and whatnot, and then we're gonna be getting this stuff, so. And also, anytime I'm working on the truck, keep in mind this makes content. So anybody complaining that, hey, you're working on this, or you have downtime, or this and that, Every time it happens, it makes better content. And more content means more money, means future growth, you know. So it's all a snowball effect, so there you go. And rant, let's, uh, let's get back to work. All right, so we are done. Obviously, this is gonna be a temporary where the exhaust is at. Uh, I do wanna actually go through and weld it, hence why I saved this piece here. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. And then that down there cleaned up, so I got two hangers on it just to hold it in place. Uh, kind of sticks out a little far in my opinion, but I do, like I said, we are going to weld this and do it permanently. I kind of want to bring the angle down so it's more flat, but that's what we got. I'm filthy. Uh, tomorrow's video, we're going to start working on getting the snorkel back in. I'm going to order a new filter uh, for that. And couple other things I definitely want to start working on the airbags which I don't know if I showed this but Liam go recycle that please I got apparently I only ordered one so I have an airbag here that we're gonna put in and all of the hardware that's going everywhere so that's all here for that so yes sorry I'm absolutely filthy but it is what it is and yeah, so we'll get that installed tomorrow. That's probably gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep doing these while I'm home. I'm gonna do like the home videos and then we will next, on our next trip out, we will be using the trailer. So fifth wheel's all set up. I have retorqued all of the bolts down there, double wrenched and everything. So everything's good there. We'll go through and grease the fifth wheel at some point, but home maintenance, fun. Um, tomorrow also, here is the one piece drive shaft. We're gonna take that and we're gonna get, take the starter to get rebuilt at some point as well. So Liam, you wanna grab that starter? I think you can do it. Let's see if he can grab it, take it to the truck. And then we'll take this drive shaft. There he goes, look at that. He's got it, he's gonna get filthy. She's gonna be mad, but yeah. So I'm gonna take this, throw this in the, in the truck. We'll go get that shortened. And then we can go return two carrier bearings. So that should be a good, $200 back in our pocket for returning carrier bearings that we bought years ago. So lifetime warranty. Gotta love it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Like I said, appreciate you guys. See ya.